Alexis. What? I can't. I know. I am. I'm Gary Siskar with Ride Engine, and I am here with Alexis from the Wing Surfer Magazine. So, super exciting new adventure. Super exciting new stuff. Wing surfing is blowing up like crazy. You've got some amazing products. Thanks, man. We love wing surfing. Who doesn't love wing surfing? I, I try to wing surf almost every single day if my kids allow me. It's crazy, right? Yeah. So, uh, me as a passionate kiteboarder, I was like, oh man, wing surfing. Now, I'll tell you what, I'm I'm sneaking out and wing surfing quite a bit these days. You know, I don't think I'll ever give up kiteboarding, but there's definitely a place in my life for wing surfing, and it's a good one. So, it's great. Um, and the whole Ride Engine crew, we're all into it, super deep. We got some really cool wing surf stuff coming up that you guys will see pretty shortly. We just got came back from a trip uh, in Peru where we wing surfed a ton, and uh, it was an eye opener, absolutely amazing uh, experience of enlightenment. So I can't wait to share all that in the future. You'll probably see that in the Wing Server magazine soon. But let's talk Absolutely. about let's talk about a few of the products that we we've done. So obviously Ride Engine, our base of what we started was in harnesses and we realized really quickly that wing surfers there would be a group of wing surfers out there that would really love and enjoy a harness and actually i think the majority of wing surfers will end up using a harness at some point in time you know the part of the the beauty of that sport of wing surfing is the simplicity you know you just have your wing you have your board shorts you have your wetsuit you know you have your board and your foil you don't need all this extra stuff you're out there and it's it's a very kind of free experience but if you can have a piece of equipment that allows you to be more efficient at going upwind, that allows you to stay on the water longer, and is not, you know, obtrusive, and basically you forget that you have even have it on, then it makes sense. It falls right within that kind of ethos or that experience of wing surfing, and we have it here with our Vinaka wing surf harness. Um, so we're really proud on this. We're one of uh, you know the first to come out with a wing surf specific harness, and we have a lot of features packed in this that's very specific to that sport. So I'll kind of put it on and walk through the whole you know what it's all about and so forth. So the first thing you'll notice, it's very lightweight. There's not a lot of support in here. We basically have a ripstop nylon closed cell coated. Uh, foam on the inside and what we realized and everyone realizes you don't need like an ultra supportive harness when you're wing surfing you're really just taking the pressure off your arms when you have your harness line on your wing and it's not pulling like a kite you're not hanging on it like you're hanging on your wing surf sail so you don't need as much support overall so we have something that eliminates all the point loading because the point loading can happen especially depending on how the the brand of the wing has you know develop their wing whether it's front hand heavy backhand heavy how they have it balanced overall you can get some varied pull on your on your harness line but this is going to eliminate all that point loading so to put the harness on it's very simple you have your first velcro closure the next one you have is a second velcro closure for the security aspect and then we bring across our sliding webbing piece which you secure in this fast tech Tighten that up, get the little tail back so it's out of the way. So now you're ready with your wing surf harness. So what is unique about it right now that you'll notice is the hook is not fixed. The main thing for that is when you want to j climb up on your board, now it's not going to rip up your EVA, it's not going to ding the rail of your board, it's out of the way so when you're climbing up it's not going to ding. Also if you have to paddle. You know, when you're in the surf, inevitably, whatever size mast you're, you're on, you're going to have to either one, paddle your board upside down a little bit, or you're going to flip the thing over, and before you can get up and start going, especially if you're on a sinker board, you're going to have to paddle out even further, so now you can get that hook out of the way. The other benefit of it, if you ride toe side, which especially a lot of the people on sinker boards, if they're not switching their feet, you're riding toe side, now you can, the harness line will adjust that to your toe side, and you can chop up wind really easy on your toe side and take the pressure off your arms. So, slide. Sliding, sliding spreader bar, key feature. Some other really neat stuff in the harness. We have dual D-rings on the back. What are these for? So you can put a piece of Dyneema between these. You can attach your board leash to this if you wish, um, which a lot of people do. They'll leash their, their waist to the board to keep that leash out of the way so you don't step on it as much. So we have the dual outboard D-rings. You can also attach your leash, whether it's your wrist leash, you know, not your wrist leash, but your wing leash to the front of this on the piece of webbing. So if you run your wing leash 
you know, off your waist to your wing. You can do that in simultaneous with having the board, you know, one to your board off the back. Um, that is the Vinaka overall. Do you know what Vinaka means? You got to know what Vinaka means. Come on, Alexis. I'm going to let you explain it. Gotcha, gotcha. We made Ben Wilson proud. So. I know. I've been talking to Ben quite a yeah. bit, and he was like, oh. Totally. So, so I'll let you, I, I knew you were going to let that yeah, cat out of the I bag. I've Fiji a couple times, luckily enough. I've been blessed to and hang out with Ben a little bit over there. And Vinaka means thank you in Fijian. So we're just saying, you know, thank you all you wing surfers. And you're going to thank us for making you more efficient and relieve some arm pressure. So this is the Vinaka. You've got some the next thing very have, cool thing going on yeah, here. Yeah, totally. The next thing we have is even the next phase of minimalism and so forth. So we have come up with what we call the Nug. So the Nug is a molded harness line hook for wing surfing. And this is something that you can get as an accessory and you can put it on whatever webbing or harness that you like. So for example, this is the ride engine, recoil leash, it's a waist leash for wing surfing. So now this can either go to my wing or it can go to the board. And now I have a harness line, very minimal harness line that will take some of the pressure off of the wing. And this will go onto any coil leash. It'll go onto any webbing belt out there on the market, not just the ride engine ones. So if you have another waist leash that you're using, we designed the, the nug so you can open it very easily with a FCS or future fin key. So, you know, what you put your surfboard fins in or for so forth, you just take this pin out, it opens up the, you know, it opens up the nug, you slide it on to your piece of webbing if you have a closed system. So you can see like, this is not gonna slide off. So you have to be able to open it up. Or if you have the double webbing, where you loop the webbing through a D-ring D and it has Velcro on it. This is big enough so it'll slide freely on that double webbing piece. So now we have the Nug, ultra minimal. So now you could stick even closer to the simple roots of wing surfing, but yet have a wing surf harness hook on your webbing piece. So super stoked with that. Awesome. Now you've got some incredible looking bags behind us. Absolutely. So, you know, Wing boards are selling like mad these days. So we have a wing board specific foil board line called the Daystrike Foil. And the biggest thing there is they fit all different sizes of boards. So we have these all the way from a five foot up to seven six. The widths and the thicknesses are optimi optimized for any board out there. So say you have, you know, custom shaper that you're you know, riding and you shape some weird board that's like five inches thick and it's, you know, four feet long, then you can fit it in the 5.0, no problem whatsoever. Or if you have a nice big sup that you're using, it fits in the seven six and that thing is big and ultra wide, like say it's 32 inches wide, it'll fit nicely in that board bag. Um, and obviously these boards cost a lot of money, so you want to protect them, whether they're on your roof, in the back of your van, sitting in your garage. Sometimes that journey from the garage to the beach is the most dangerous thing for your board, so putting it in a board bag is a really smart thing to do. Um, really cool features that we have on this, so the board bag uses a heavy duty uh, 600D nylon, ripstop nylon, plus we have coated sections in key areas to make it even stronger. Notice the vent. We do, we have a vent in there, so to eliminate heat in the bag. It is black, we like black, you could tell in Ride Engine, but to reduce heat, we have a vent in there. And we also have on the side that you would have up to the sun a reflective patch also to, to reduce some of the heat that can get built up in the board bag. All of them are what's called a sidewall construction, so they do have a 4mm of padding in here in a sidewall, so you can travel with these. You can, you know, pack some gear around it, chuck it on an airplane if you're taking one wing board, you know, put your one wing board in there, layer a couple wings on top, your board will probably get there nice and safe overall. We have a nice wide opening, so it's easy to get your board in and out of this bag with a pocket in here that you can put hardware, you know, all that kind of stuff. Say you're, you have a sub that's multi-purpose, you can put some fins in there and so forth uh, and just keep it all together. And of course, these things have a foil on them, a lot of them. So when you're at your destination, it's really nice to just put your board in there, keep your foil on, your mast. It's a nice long length, so it's wherever you have your mast positioned on your board, whether it's way forward or way back, it's gonna work in this bag. Close it up, sit this bag up, and then you don't have to take your foil off and your board is gonna be nice and protected. So like I said, everything, we have this in five foot, 
five, six, six foot, six, six, seven foot, and seven, six. So if you have a wing surfboard out there, guess what? We have a bag that fits your wing surfboard. So there we go. Awesome. All the sizes, all that stuff can be found on the website, right? You betcha. RideEngine.com or check your local retailer. Thanks so much. Thanks, Alexis from? The Wing Surfer. You got it. <laughs>